Hello and welcome to my channel, Leah Elizabeth. I know it's been a hot second, it's probably been a very long time since you've seen a new video from me, but I am back. I've been very busy with my other channel, which is Finance Rules. So this channel is more so kind of like my girly side. That side is very like tomboy, you know, stocks and business and making money and all that kind of stuff. So this channel is more so about, you know, girl time, you know, let's chat about makeup and Sephora and hair and rings and nails and just like girly stuff, right? So it's kind of like I have two sides of me, a girly side and like a tomboy side. So that's why I made two channels because I'm sure, you know, you guys don't want to hear about stock stuff and my stock people don't really want to hear about nails and stuff. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my perfume collection, which is great because I'm trying to minimize right now. So I'm going to go through each and every one of them and I might either throw them out or give them away or just trying to downsize my collection because you can see my collection right here. So these are the perfumes that I'm going to go through. And by the way, these three paintings I just put together with a girl from Toronto and it was like an unbelievably fun experience. Like I picked out what prints to use, she embellished them, it was really fun. So let's get to it. By the way, say hello to my baby over here. Her name is Monkey, so she's, I guess, going to be in the video today, so don't mind her. Okay, I just have, like, my perfumes, like, all over the table here, so I'm just going to kind of pick them up randomly. Um, so this is the, I think this was, like, Britney Spears' perfume, and I wanted something a little bit more sweet. Like, look, it's, like, falling apart. It's so old. Um, I wanted, a, like, a sweet perfume. And this one literally smells like candy. It's kind of like, you know those like girly Ariana Grande type? It just brings me back to like high school nights and fun. That's Britney Spears. Great. Probably the best looking perfume that I own, which is like the extravagance, is the Juicy Couture. This is probably my favorite bottle, even though it kind of looks, it kind of looks like, you know, if you're Catholic, and when you go up at the altar and they give you the bread, the body of Christ, this kind of looks like that. But I just like the extravagance of this, really. It's really pretty. And it has like a little juicy couture handle here. Let's give it a smell and see how it is. Mmm. Okay, so this was like, this was like my high school sexy, let's go out and have some fun type of scent. This is probably one of my favorites in high school, but it's gone kind of a little bit rancid. Like that discoloration, I don't think it was that dark yellow before, so might have to give this one away. Okay, another perfume also bought, I think it was like University Days, is the MAC perfume. This is my favorite MAC perfume that MAC has ever launched. I always go in the store and just smell the perfume. This one's just like clean, summer, shopping. It could be girly, but it could be like going out on a date. And I find that this one lasts a while. I would say this one doesn't last as long. Moving on. Okay, I think my very first perfume that I ever owned was the Ralph Lauren. I don't know, it's the blue one. It's, it's like the OG. This one, like smells like elementary school to high school and it just smells like innocence to me like <laughs> i don't think it's gone rancid at all like it's like still pure white just smells like summer and fun and innocence and not having to care or worry about anything that's what this smells like i almost feel like this is why i hoarded all my perfumes because when i smell them it like triggers memories and like just pictures of things it could be good or bad but should I keep this one? You know what? I would never wear it. So I'm going to give this one away. I always wanted the Ralph Lauren romance. So if I do end up buying another one, it would be that one from Ralph Lauren. Next is a cheap ass Zara perfume. I don't know why, but 
these all the Zara perfumes, they smell so good, but they're so cheap. I mean, there's no pr price tag on this one still, but I, th I swear this one was probably like max $20 Canadian and it smells amazing. And this one, you know, just since it's so cheap, I just go like like 10 sprays and it's like, it smells so strong. But then like four hours later, it's it's gone because <laughs> it's cheap, right? This one is called Apple Juice, if you were wondering. Probably my second perfume that I ever owned, second to the Ralph Lauren, was Marc Jacobs. This is back in the day when um, Jacob had a clothing store in the mall. I don't think that they have those anymore. This literally smells like the store. Like, all I remember is the store. Jacob. And it just reminds- It also reminds me of, like, work. I don't know why. I think I wore this to work. But it smells like more so, like, businesswoman-y, boss lady type perfume. But I don't think they even sell this anymore. But- ugh. If they don't sell it anymore, that means I would never smell it again, and that means I would never have the memory of this certain smell. Oh well, can't just hoard everything, right? Okay, my first perfume that I ever got as a gift was from my first boyfriend's Polish mother. And she loved perfumes. She had like that miracle pink one that I really liked. And she would always go to Costco and buy all the perfumes that were like majorly discounted. She would be all excited, like come home with all these perfumes and it was, it was fun, you know? So let me show you what perfume it is. This is the Burberry perfume. And look at how rancid it looks. I mean, like white background, like that looks almost brown. <laughs> I think this one's gone rancid. And it's kind of sad because Burberry is like a high-end designer. And I think it's gone rancid the most out of my entire collection. Oh man. Whoa. This, this, uh, this smells like my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> wow, this smells like good times and bad with my ex. Like fights, arguments. I think it's because it's like when you're in the heat of the moment, your pulse starts like throbbing and then it's like the perfume really goes and then your scent just gets ingrained into that memory Ooh. wow this almost like oof, gives me the chills and next is another zara perfume this one actually it's different than my other zara perfume this is more like summer spring florally sweetness this one is more so like sexy if I remember yeah this one's more like you can go on a date or you can like go shopping or like just walk around it's like an everyday all-round good perfume it's called the black peony eau de toilette and it's gone a little bit rancid I mean it's black peony that's why it's kind of shaded here but I'm pretty sure that this one's gone a little bit rancid so far all right, so out of all the ones that I've already spoken about, the ones that I'm going to keep are this one because it still smells like as if the day I got it, it still smells fresh and I would wear it. And I think I'm going to give my fiance's sister these two and see if she wants them because they like they smell like young girl innocence fun frilly so i think i'm gonna give those to her and actually maybe even this one too and this one ugh, i just i think this one's gone rancid like i want to keep it but it's i think it's gone bad okay moving on victoria's secret and this one you gotta shake see like it goes like does that mean it's rancid or is that the way it came in because i swear like do you see how beige that's gotten now it's like starting to separate. That's not a good sign. This one smells like dates to me because it's like for the past few years, that's what I wore it. It came with this little one. So this one's probably, this one doesn't look rancid. This one's pretty clear. Okay. This, it's stronger in this little tiny concealed bottle. Maybe it's like 
the ones with this poof, maybe they don't last as long. I don't know. Comment below. But this one's nice. Okay, you know what? This would be really cute in like a carry-on or like a purse. Like instead of like one of those roller balls, you can just have one of these. Or in a carry-on, like in your toiletry bag, you can like just put this in instead of like this huge honking like... It's just like... Oh. This one's called Tees. And I would say it's actually pretty similar to this. This one's more like high frequency scent sweet. This one's more like sweet, but like a little sexy, but like really sweet. So this one wins on the end. I think I'm going to be keeping this one for myself. Okay, my second newest perfume that I've purchased, which I'm definitely going to keep because it's one of my all-time favorites, is Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. This one is really nice. Oh, it's like, it almost has like two, three scents in it. Like, how do I describe this? It's like sweet, but floral and sexy and cute at the same time. Like, you know when a guy says, you're cute and sexy at the same time, it's like a huge compliment? That's this perfume. This is like an all-round, just a good smelling perfume, but... You know what? I don't think this is like a date perfume. Like I wouldn't wear this on a date probably, but like anywhere else this would be good for. Okay, so last but not least, my newest perfume that I bought was probably about four months ago in the summer. is the YSL Mont Paris. And shortly after coming back from visiting Paris last year, I really wanted a YSL perfume and even in Paris I was like sniffing all the perfumes because there was like a scent in Paris I was like trying to pinpoint I was like what is that smell I need it in a bottle and this let me just see this is close to it it's very close I would say more florally and less sweet would be the exact scent but this is dang close and I really like this smell See, you always get a rollerball first because you have to try out, you have to see if you like it, you have to wear it a few times, you have to make sure that it stays in this long lasting, and then you buy the big bottle. Okay, and so from my most recent purchase was literally, I got in the mail today, is Miss Dior. I finally got my hands on a Dior perfume, and this one is the Blooming Bouquet. Do you guys want to open it with me? I'm like, I'm so excited. Like, I've wanted this perfume for so long. And Sephora... And Sephora for, um, what was it? Chinese New Year. They were having a promo so that if you spent more than $80, I think it was. And this one was like $110 or $120. If you spent more than $80, you get 15% off a few days in March. Plus, you get, you got this cute red bag, which is like a really nice actual, like it's like a matte finish with a cute gold zipper. So it's very like Chinese New Year-ish. And you get all of these samples. And this is like, I'm talking high-end samples, like Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream, Shiseido. There's like, there's eye masks. So this was a really good purchase. I'm like excited to try out all these things. This one, this Carotees, I actually have the big bottle of this one, but I mean, this is perfect for travel size, right? And I got a cute little bag with it. Okay, so anyways, back to perfume. Let's open this baby. Oh, it's such a cute pink. At first I thought it was like white. It's actually like a very subtle pink. Right. Open this. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's like the perfect size too! 
I was worried because like this is like the second or third smallest size that you can get, but it's like perfect. Oh my god, look at this. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, with the little bow. Monkey, isn't this cute? Look, monkey. <laughs> She's looking like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, so now for the smell. Oh my god, it's like on hard. Probably because I've never opened it. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Okay, this is like where Daisy meets YSL meets like boss babe and a little bit of Victoria's Secret in there yeah this is like boss babe perfume like I would wear this to even work on a date going out every day type perfume it's very floral as you can tell from the name blooming bouquet it literally smells like you're at a wedding and there's a big bouquet and you just go and it's like you got flowers and <laughs> it's so cute let's see how it looks on my shelf cute <laughs> you know what if i really really enjoy this one and it becomes a staple of mine i can always buy the bigger one But I mean, smaller size of things are also really cute, and it's just, oh. Mwah. Hello, new perfume. Welcome to your new home. Also, as a side note, I found this um, thing at Sephora. It was on sale, and it's really cute because you can put all your, you can put all your little vitamins inside. You know, your omega threes and your, your multivitamin and your vitamin D. Because we all know, we as Canadians, we need our vitamin D. And it's like a little cute pouch. Okay, I have to... I want to wear this one actually today. So let me just put this on. Screw it to the front. Ready? Oh, oh yeah, you have to squirt it a few times. Because it's never been squirted. Oh, there we go. There was one. Mmm. Yep, like flowers. Let's see how Monkey likes it. Let's see. Monkey? Monkey, you like it? See her face? She's like, ooh, it's too strong for me. All right, so that was my perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please comment below any thoughts about these perfumes or do you think that I should hold on to them or, you know, get rid of them? Or seeing from my tastes here, what do you think, what perfume that I would like? And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you about how to get started in buying luxury designer brands. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next one. Bye!